You know how many calories are in that donut you're eating. Shouldn't you also know how many kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions are in that pair of shoes you're wearing? Okay, we get it. Carbon emissions are complicated. But when you think about it, so are calories. But the gist of it's pretty similar between the two. I mean, the higher the number, the more work we have to do to cancel it out. So just like nutrition labels help you make better choices for your health, we want to help you make better choices for the planet. That's why we're labeling all our products with their carbon footprint, to help us all tread a little lighter on Mother Nature. Because we all know she's having a rough time. We measure four different things to get the numbers that appear on our products. Materials, manufacturing, product use, and end of life. <clears throat> we also measure transportation, but that's done separately because it varies so much between customers. So let's break it down. First, materials. materials. Here we measure every component that goes into a product, tracking its material composition, waste, and weight. Next, manufacturing. Machines, robots. Yeah, robots are kind of cool, but this part of the equation wouldn't be possible without a big old serving of collaboration between us and our suppliers. They help us collect extra information, like the energy we use to power our factories. And on top of that, we account for where that energy comes from too. And our goal is to always find the cleanest option possible. Even though some of our leaders might not agree, we think renewable means clean and coal means dirty. Yeah, oh, not gonna high five a factory. Third, this product use. We can't keep tabs on everything you do with your all birds, but since all our products are machine washable, we can measure the emissions associated with our customers, cleaning them. And finally, there's end of life, which in retrospect seems a little morbid. But this is where we account for the impact of our products once they've had their day in the sun. Cool, that all sounds super nerdy and great, but why go to all this trouble to measure this stuff? Well, thanks for asking. Accountability. Now that you have our numbers, you can make sure we're doing our part to reduce our footprint. And also, we want to spark a conversation that one day, hopefully, leads to every product being labeled with its carbon footprint. Because let's face it, how are people supposed to make better decisions when it comes to the planet when they have zero information besides fancy marketing taglines? So, we're giving you the information. The only question is, how will you use it?